Fallout 76 is a game I played ever since release, so being an old racelander like me, you've seen things added, taken away, and something that never changes. One of the biggest changes to the game of course was Wastelander which was like the right direction by adding more life to the once an empty wasteland. One wasteland for all was of course another step in the right direction, kind of destroying that wall that blocked most players from the most of the map unless they're level 40 and up. Then we got sort of not good updates like the Brotherhood of Steel Rain DLC. Fallout World and Once in a Blue Moon update, which sort sort of felt underwhelming. Even though they add some cool stuff to the game, it could have been better. I would be going over things I think that this game can benefit from and keep the player wanting to play this game more, as well providing the current players more things to do and quality of life stuff. So of course, on the top of my list is expansion. However, since the Skyline Valley update is coming next update, we'll be crossing off this list. However, Bethesda, I do hope you are considering more expansion in the future. We have a lot of connecting area to Appalachia and it should be explored more. Get more update with expansion like this. Why did it took almost 6 years to get an expansion to this map? Also, to let you all know who is watching this video, I have not played the private test server, so I do not know what's there gonna be in this new Skyline update. All I do know is that there is a new boss fight. However, if Rifle Game says that the update is good, then I trust his opinion on it. I like to be surprised with the experience with everyone that played this update on release, so I will definitely be covering this update once it's fully released in the summer. So let's go ahead and move on to the big question. What should be add or improve in Fallout 76? So one of the first thing I want to go over is adding more event, more exactly boss fights. See, Fallout 76 has a total of 6 regions in this game, however two of them feel is very underutilized. See, we have Toxic Valley and the Mire, yes there's events in there, however there's no boss fight in these areas besides the usual Beyond Invader or the Jamberry Moonshine, however I think these zones should be updated and revamped a little bit, both of these areas should be benefiting from a boss fight from a nuke zone. With a nuke zone, I feel like they can improve and make a giant different type of creatures boss fight in each of the area of the map. Just so it gives more of a player a reason to nuke these zones like Grafton area or the Myers. Again, I feel like these two here are just very underutilized a lot and I feel like it benefits more if there's like a, a reason why people players should nuke these areas. Besides for just nuke flora if they need to search a specific one. And as well, I really do think Grafton is like underwhelming. Like most of the time when I play this game, I usually do not go the Grafton area part of the map whatsoever. Text chat. Why is it in another game that I liked a lot, socializing is one of the topics I have to deal with. Socializing is one of the main key to Fallout 76 survival in the game life. The main reason why so many people love this game is because of the community. However, the fact that we don't have a text chat in an MMO, I consider as a crime. Not everyone likes to talk online in game voice chat sometimes and of course it benefits the people that is not able to speak. Yeah we got emojis but it'd be better to have an actual way to actually communicate to players with, with text chat. I remember there was talks about it and yeah you could supposedly mod your game to have text chat. However, not everyone's a modder and they do not want to mod a game since it could possibly get you banned. I feel that it will greatly benefit this game if text chat was included. This shouldn't be a debate in Bethesda CEO. This should be something already uh, added a few updates ago. I remember this was being talked about a long time ago. However, it's not talked anymore and you know, it's just one of the things that I think we should bring back and talk about again that text chat should be added. I understand that people are worried about toxicity. I understand people worry about, you know, people being toxic in text chat because a lot of people tend to be keyboard warriors. However, in the end, it should be an option to have text chat on and off for players. It should be an option that have a way for players to actually communicate with one another. Fallout 76 is one of the nicest community out there, which is why they would dislike the fact when I say but there's a certain growth the PvP aspect of the game. Now hold on, wait, and let me provide some more information on this topic. See, one of the many things that I never feel right is that this game is a MMO game based in an apocalyptic world. However, there's practically no PvP unless you do Fallout World, which is very limited and not connected to your main character, and there's no benefit to doing PvP and no reward. So I feel like improving PvP to make it more enjoyable and more rewarding is the right direction Bethesda to take. There is even evidence that people kind of want PvP in this game. We have Rifle Gaming making a Nuketown map and holding PvP matches and as well one of my favorite Kev Do It video was him making a gulag in this camp and having low level players fight each other. Again, it looks fun. I feel like Fallout 76 will be more fun if they expand on the PvP just a bit. 
So Bethesda, if you are watching, here's an idea for you how to improve PvP. So an idea I have is to make an instance PvP event. See, Rifle Gaming Nuketown map was in a shelter, mind you, which is an instant. A shelter is an instant. I feel like it's possible to make an event based off PvP in an instant where players can spawn in teams in an instant and, and fight the other team. Perks and legendaries are restricted so the players won't be overpowered and everyone is equal. They are given a random gun, ammo, stem packs and grenades and then they let the player fight or maybe do game modes like domination or king of the hill. And then when the event is over everyone gets caps and a 3 star legendary because that would be a good sportsmanship and rewarding for players that participate in the PvP event. However, the winners get a special reward so it can entice other players to try to win the pvp event and with this idea the pvp players can have pvp content in this game besides the whole workshop pvp and, and instigating based pvp because those two mechanics are very wonky and again it's very limited depending on how if a player wants to claim a workshop or the player wants to hit the other player with this idea here i feel like pvp will be improved a lot more and more players will be enjoying doing pvp if they're all equal and an instant base. Pets. Fallout fans, we all love dog meat, am I right? He's in practically every Fallout game. Basically, except how can this be left it as is? How can I not have a pet dog or a pet cat or a pet mothman hatchling? Pets, I feel like is a fun thing to add to the game. They don't need to provide any benefits. Maybe it could just be cosmetic, but it would be cool if they provide benefits as well. It could be a cosmetic for all I care for, but I just feel like having pets in this game will be a nice addition to this game and add more life to Fallout 76. I know there was talks before that pets was going to be added, but right now it still hasn't been added to the game. So please Bethesda, you know, please consider adding pets to the game because I feel like a lot of players would like to have pets in their game as well. I feel like this game will benefit more if there's more seasonal events or special events. I think my most favorite memory I tend to remember from Fallout 76 is seasonal event. Like the first Far Snap Parade, Mischief Night, Mothman Equinox, Meek Weeks, and Invaders from Beyond. I feel like adding more seasonal event to this game could make it more enjoyable. And I don't mean reskinning the damn Scorch to another clothing so they can drop gift. I think the game will benefit more if there's more seasonal event than rerunning or reskinning old event like Fosnot, we do not need Fosnot again in halloween making seasonal event coming once a year i feel like we will be more benefiting to the life of fallout 76 like easter why is there's no easter seasonal event i feel like easter seasonal event will be fun instead of like going to the atomic shop just to get an easter egg every day to get a bunny mask which i still don't have maybe an easter egg event where a robot or human wanted to bring back the fun of easter so the players had to steal and paint Deathclaw eggs for their easter egg hunt. So they steal the eggs from a Deathclaw nest nearby. However, since they stole the eggs from a Deathclaw nest, they, all the Deathclaw nearby is upset. So the players had to protect the eggs from the pack of Deathclaw nearby. And then in the end, a legendary Deathclaw Alpha and Matriarch were spawned to try to take the eggs back. Uh, this will be like a fun and interesting Easter event to do at the round of April. Like it'd be more fun to actually have seasonal event to occur once a year than having the same one appear later in October or in December. Also, but does a why did Mischief Knight had to be taken away forever? I feel like you could have fixed the event and re release it again, then have Spooky Scorch. The whole Spooky Scorch is really lazy and it's just not fun when they basically drop the practically the same loot. It'd be better if, to have Mischief Knight and Spooky Scorch at the same time, just so players can make have Halloween feel like a unique seasonal event instead of just, oh boy, I had to go hunting around and then participate in Fosh Knot Parade, which should be only in february because that represents the end of winter the game will benefit more if there's more different type of seasonal event that occurs throughout the year just so it can make the game more unique and bring players back at a certain time of the year instead of just coming back like oh is this invader beyond again just for the second time of the year or for some reason frost not return in october Again, I, do, I don't understand. You should try to benefit more from more different type of seasonal events. Faction is a thing that gives players to explore more of the lore of Fallout. What side is the player to join to in each game? Is it the Settlers or the Raiders? Enclave or the Brotherhood of Steel? The Bear or the Bull? In Fallout 76, there is a lot of faction. However, why can't players make a faction guild to meet other players? Let me explain. WoW, which is World of Warcraft, have guild which other players can make and join. They interact with other players, plan raids, events, and social stuff, and they tend to have a lot of fun within these guilds. 
I feel like Faction Guild and Fallout 76 will be a way to increase the social part of Fallout 76. Have players come together in faction and come up plans and special get together in game. Of where players could come together easily and find more friends. Again, Fallout 76 has a special community which is open and welcomes other players with open arms. And I feel like instead of having a player always be on their own or always joining public team, they should have a way to join factions to have fun and as well give role players of the game to have fun with faction wars and faction roleplay. You know, faction wars are where a faction fight another faction just for fun. Why must we go to Discord or subreddit to find people to play with? I feel like it would be better and add to the social experience to the game. I had a talk with my brother the other day and we agreed on something I feel can benefit the games. Raids. I feel like hard raids will be fun to have and a challenge to do and a great benefit to the game. Long time ago when Nuclear Winter was released, there was Vault Raids, a challenge for pro players to do and have fun with, however it was soon taken out. So why was it taken out? Cause it had a glitch and there was a lot of things that made it too hard for people to play it. So hardly anyone played these vault raids and don't want to go near it in fear of losing all of their junks. And the time challenge part to it was also bullshit. So Bethesda, instead of fixing it and improving it, they took it out and gave us Daily Ops mission. Daily Ops, as much fun as they are, get stale. Same two mission with only different enemies and mutation every day. It's not fun anymore. It's just a repetitive mission and time trial to complete it faster to get better reward. We have Expedition, but then again it just feel like Daily Ops, but just extra steps. And again, it feel like it's too easy. You can do these with just yourself or if you have one friend and bam, you done it. I feel like we need something more entertaining and more challenging to do. I feel like raid dungeons where you actually had a plan with your team and coordinate will be a fun thing to do. Something challenging, something that gives player puzzles and something that makes it entertaining instead of the fact of just doing, okay, now you just gotta stand here for a couple minutes and you gotta stand here for a couple minutes or you gotta kill this guy or kill this guy or collect this and put it over here. Again, I feel like the Vault Raids when it first came out, it was a unique idea and unique aspect to the game and I feel like it was almost properly executed. However, it was glitchy and the time trial part to it was utter bullshit. So I do hope if Bethesda, if you guys ever see this, please consider adding Vault Raids back again or it doesn't need to be Vault Raid. You have multiple dungeons in Fallout 76 that you can utilize to make a hard dungeon. Just like with Vault Raids, make it more challenging, make it entertaining, have puzzles within it and have a way where it just actually involve teamwork. Give better rewards. I give a reason why Vault Steel is still in the game because there's no reason why Vault Steel still exists in the game since there's no more Vault Raid. The only reason why you need Vault Steel is for the Vault 94 armor. And again, I feel like it's more benefiting if there's a Vault Raid for these Vault armor. I hope you guys do consider adding back Vault Raid, give out better rewards, take out the time trial to it, fix it up and improve upon it, and like make legend variation weapon based on these vault raids or any future raid then i feel like this will be a very benefiting thing here's an example of what you can add as a dungeon as a hard dungeon at the bottom part of west Tex, when you do the steel rain dlc you get to the bottom part of the west Tex facility and you can go ahead and use that as and make that as a hard raid dungeon and then you can reuse the boss as well from the steel rain dlc as the boss in this dungeon again but there's a you have a lot of places a lot of dungeon a lot of things on this map and you are underutilizing it you can make raids and i feel like that will be a great benefit thing to add to the game because one of the things players tend to complain about when it comes to the end game it's just like you're cycling the same thing over and over again and sometimes it's playing too easy sometimes it's just easy at the end game and i feel like hard and challenging raid will will add something to the end game for players to do besides you know always constantly running nukes always constantly doing events constantly going back on the grind to to do the scripts machine and all that i feel like adding hard rate dungeons will keep the high level players entertained at the end game so bethesda i do hope you do consider adding back vault raids and adding more raids in the future this next topic is the one thing that always annoy me in Fallout 76. There is about 6 type of currency in Fallout 76, which I discussed in a previous video that you can watch here. The main big issue is that what happens if you run out of plans and stuff? What happens when you get the things that you want and you're not interested in anything else? 
I feel like sh there should be a way to convert currencies to other currency, like how you can buy gold bullion for caps from Smiley. There should be a way to convert gold bullions to scripts and stamps. And I'm saying unlimited. This should be restricted to like a certain amount of week like Smiley does. However, it should be a consideration as it does kind of annoy people that they could be stacked with treasury notes and gold bullion. Possibly someone could have every single plan they have from Vault 79 and Minerva. Or player got the T65 power armor or the pit power armor and they aren't sure to do with the leftover currency as nothing else interested them. I feel like a way to convert these currency to something else, to another currency, will open the player mind more and able to not feel like they're so restricted to so many currency. Because keep in mind that you can only get caps and treasury notes from events. Script is always limited to 500 a day and sometimes doesn't feel enough. Players have to speed run expedition to at least get the stamp to have to get something they want from Giuseppe and they have no way to convert it to another currency. And if a Bethesda, if you don't want to do stab, then do it for scripts. One thing that players constantly want is better legendary. A chance to reroll their gun to get a better legendary. Players always want double script weaken or shout for more script to be in the legendary machine. So I recommend having a conversion method from caps or gold bullion to script, which can benefit a lot of players in a good way. The last topic I want to talk about is two things, but I sometimes feel like it goes hand in hand. Servers should be expanded more. The fact that there's only 24 players in a single server, I feel like we can expand it a bit more, like by 8. So we should get like 32 players in a server, which of course is a two-sided blade. Reason why they don't increase it is due to server issue, which I understand to some degree, but I do hope it does eventually solve this one out. It is possible if it doesn't want to work on stabilizing their servers or making their server better, However, this is not my high priority. The next one I'm going to talk about, I do consider a high priority. So my next topic is lastly, crossplay. Why does Helldivers get to be united protecting Super Earth freedom in both PlayStation and PC? Why is Spartans able to fight each other in Xbox and PC? Why does Minecraft players get to build together in PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC? I feel like it is time to unite the Vault Drillers of the Wasteland together. Let's make this wasteland great together and reclaim it together with Xbox, PlayStation, and PC coming together. Because again, this community is great together and it can be stronger as well if that no crossplay wall is taken down and the players can be united with their friends on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. You have an amazing community that you are not taking advantage of Bethesda that is willing to play this game more if it's crossplay with their friends. There's many people out there that only have PlayStation or Xbox and some of them, some of them don't have friends on PlayStation or Xbox or PC. I feel like if you have crossplay enabled in this game, it will be a great benefit to you and it will be a great benefit to the community when they finally is able to unite with their friends and all other system. And while you're working on crossplay, please consider adding cross save. Since I have my own PlayStation account and a PC account, I feel like I should have both, both of these accounts together into one account. I should have my OG character from PlayStation and my character on PC in the same account. I feel like cross save should be something talked about as well. I feel like with these ideas, but there's a, I feel like with these ideas, but there's a can take these ideas, take some of these ideas and make Fallout 76 a better game, a way to improve quality of life through social features adding future for everyone to enjoy follow 76 in their way if by pvp or pve customizing themselves or adding a friendly critter to be on their side make the world more fun and give a re and reasons to give players to and give player and give player a reason to come back to this game but does it you have an amazing community that is willing to play this game and enjoy it for what it is give the player things they requested and thing that and thing that is not functioning properly improve upon it improve about it with give the player things they requested and um give the th give the player the things that they requested and the thing that will improve the player quality of life Make the world enjoyable and fun and as well make it challenging without many bullet sponge. Unite them and let them fight together. That way Fallout 76 can be better. The main reason why I bring all this up is because in the end Fallout 76 is one of my favorite games. I would like to see this game improve and add more to it. Instead of having things been taken out, it should be fixed and improved upon to be better. However, that is just my opinion though. Let me know what your opinion on below of what you think can improve Fallout 76. Do you agree with my thoughts or disagree with some of the stuff I bring up? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think.
Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys like what you saw, please consider leaving a like and comment down below. Want to stay updated when I do upload? Please consider hitting the subscribe button as it does support the channel. Anyways, I'll do hope. Anyways, I hope you all have a good day. Peace out.